right, let's play some Chrono Trigger. The last time we, we're going to be starting with the Queen Returns. Uh, last time we played, I think we just made it to the castle. And now we gotta visit. Let's see, let's talk to this guy. Hmm. This is weird. King chamber atop the tower ahead. Knights quarters so down the stairs. Go straight from here, and you'll find a stairwell on the left. Okay. Let's see. I'm to understand that you played some role in helping the rescue to rescue my lady wife. Lady wife? That's weird. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Problem. They allow him to kind of go into the king's chambers. Just between you and I, the Chancellor has been acting strangely these days. I spied on him sneaking out of the castle and time and time again. The only thing I've noticed out of the ordinary as of late is the queen's personal guard. That froggish creature has not been around. They say a curse turned him into a frog, but I question the truth of that. No doubt he's been one of the fiend lord's spies all along. Huh. People think the trenches behavior is strange, but I don't find it troubling at all. The trenches of mine is strong faith. Why? Why? He goes to the Manolia Cathedral every day to pray. awaits you. It's been over 10 years since her majesty first came to this castle, but she's scarce aged a day. In fact, she looks even younger now than she did before her disappearance. Mm. You're the one who saved our queen? I'd expect one a bit more dashing. Excuse me. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to have a word with this man in private. As you wish, Your Majesty. Come near. Don't be shy. Hehe. <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I, Mako? It's me, but everyone keeps calling me Lenny for some reason. I'm glad you came. We were only together for that short time at the fair, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thank you, Mako. What's going on? What hap what's happening? Uh, 
Huh? I feel I feel like it's being torn apart. Help me, Mako. I'm scared. It's like I'm dying. Please help, Mako. Obtain an ether. Uh oh, what happened to her? Her Majesty dismissed you already? You didn't engage in any untoward behavior, did you? Of course not. Let us hope that is the case. By the way, did Her Majesty some seem somehow not herself? Uh, I guess I'll just lie. Uh, no. Truly, perhaps I worried over much. What about this guard? A great number of things change as the years go by, but if there's one thing that will never be the same, it's women and their unsufferable love of gossip. Well, that's like not very nice, is it? Mako! Whew, you're okay. Did you find the girl? She what? She disappeared? Just as I thought then. I knew I recognized her from somewhere. You seem to be in Guardia, but it looks a lot older than the Guardia we're from. You should be. I said older, but it's kind of like in the past, isn't it? They must have mistaken that girl for her ancestor. After all, that girl was our princess, Nadia. Huh? Huh, that is, Princess Nadia is a descendant of King Logan. We're gonna need to stay back to someone. Supposed to have one saved her, but now the issues have changed. One looks so much like the queen that they probably called off their search when she appeared. But if the real queen is killed. Quan will never have existed, but there still might be, there might still be enough time. If we can save the queen, history as we know it should remain unchanged. Something must happen to the queen in this era if she is rescued, and if something happens to her, her descendant princess Nadia will never come into being. We have to find a real queen. I already have 21 6 and an obvious loaded. And we need to be favored by the queen. Any more is below. Master Fishing for the Foul Tempter. Best style and stay out of his way unless you fancy a tongue lashing. Your fill before you go. I'm dying. I'm dying of hunger. Servant, your meal is ready. Finally. Master Kitchen Center is close. Still being as worthy of these three stars. Few more shoots is better watch out for us. Take a seat on, at the upper left hand corner of the left table.
Expertise out. You have no place in my kitchen. Jeez. Well, in that case, let's get out of here. Oh, man. What is this good ice cream that I just see? We just that I prepare. That asset you kept us fed quickly now. Master of Kitchens, enough of your self righteous ranting. Your knights aren't the only ones putting their lives on the line for this kingdom. Hmm, I think I've lost my appetite. I, s I have no stomach for bur meat braised with cow and cowardice. See that my men are fed. Go find someone else to command. I don't need you telling me how to do my job. That's dramatic. Commander is a good man, or the master kitchen, but master butt rubs in the wrong way. The old English. My new commander is working hard to fill Sir Cyrus's shoes. The cathedral was built there, no monsters have been seen. It seems the place is truly blessed. Huh. Sir Commander the Knight sworn to protect the king and queen of his own way. Ten years ago, he alone and a friend departed on a quest, and no one has heard from him since. What a relief now, now that the queen's been found, we can refocus our efforts on the war. Check out the lesson for us then.
fight against the Mean Lord's army ahead of you. Wonderful. Remember to equip the weapons you buy. Not, not much meaning elsewise. Let's see what you got. So devout. Tee hee hee. Sounds suspicious. O oh, great Lord and Master, deliver your divine judgment upon the weak and undeserving. Seems rather negative. That we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious. I mean, delightful looking you are. Why not say, say a prayer for yourselves? What did you find? A hairpin? Hey, this is the Guardius Royal Crest. Uh oh, what happened? Expecting that. Oh. Ah. Lower your guard and show the enemy in. You have to save the queen? The fiend's lair lies within, it seems. Will you accompany me? You're, you're a, it's a giant talking frog. You, you know I can't stand frogs. I suppose I ought not to express you to trust me looking as I do. Very well, do as you please. I must save the queen. Wait. You, you don't seem like a bad frog. I mean, person. I mean, um... What should we do, Mako? Let's go with a frog. Alright, I guess... I'll have to get over my, um, my aversions to slimy, uh, moist skin creatures. So what's your name? I don't know, I think I'm gonna do... Let's do, uh... We'll do Rico. Rico will suffice. Alright, nice to meet you, Rico. And 
you as well. This room must conceal a hidden passage. Let us search every corner. Hmm, well, the most obvious place is this. Oh. supposed to do with this. Hey, there are humans in here. And try to see a bromide with you? Get him. Yes.
Oh, hi. Thanks for stopping by. How's it going? Are you going to be streaming today? They hate pretending to be human, they're so smelly and repulsive, it's demeaning verb. Getting some Chrono Trigger time on with a uh, just a vent because students may be upset. It's just so special. Yakura Genius, he plans to imprison the Chancellor and take on his role like work like magic. Oh, the Chancellor, so the Chancellor's a thing. Now the Queen's hours and the castles in uproar. This is rich. Alright, I think I'll pay more respects to the female arts actually before my shift starts. How kind of you, but I assure you there's no need. Master of this big Zakra is so very kind, I decided to stay here. Please make yourselves at home too. Okay. Did you come did you by chance come to save Queen Lenny? Oh you did. That's good to know. Oh how good of you to come. I'm sure Yakuro will be pleased. Please pass the time in here with us until he has a chance to come and greet you properly. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Please take the time to enjoy yourselves with us. A long delay. Um, not bad. I had a uh, taught some students today, and they kind of were a little irritating. But <laughs> that's why I'm venting out playing some Chrono Trigger to remind me of the good days. Right? They're just so special. How about you? How's it, how's your day going?
Is there- are there a lot of riots going on in- in Vegas too? Yeah, it is a little. I've been seeing all of that on- on TV and on NPR. Um, it seems pretty crazy right now. Um, so I kind of- I wish you luck that way. I'm actually doing some job hunting too. Uh, <clears throat> it's uh... It's not the... <laughs> it, it can be a little intense. But if you, you know, need any help with anything, like resume stuff, you let me know. In Vegas is one, but trying not to get paranoid. Yeah. But you know, it's always, it's always, you know, better to be safe than, you know, sorry. So, um, so hopefully it's not towards anywhere you have to go. What kind of jobs are you looking to get anyways? Just out of curiosity. put this on your list of games to play next. Because it is... You know, it's simpler, but it's... I don't want to... I don't want to fight right now. Uh... But it's kind of nice. It's... You don't have to think too much. I, um... I bought a I bought a new mic and a and an Ethernet cord to connect my computer to directly to my router and it seems like it's working quite good now. Let's see. Let me come oh okay. Let's buy some supplies. Yes. Oh, I have plenty of money now. Shooter, baby. Let's do that. Get a bronze helm. Padded vest, yes. Fire World. I wonder if 
Keep past me, huh? You really think you're smart. Oh. You think so? Can you tell? I, uh... I just finished eating some Thai food about two hours ago. You missed it. You think so? Like, well... So, Spring, what I did is, yesterday, I kind of was like, Ugh, oh, I don't want to work. And then I decided to go to the mall, and I just, like, bought, like, I bought this microphone that was rather expensive and then that I bought a new webcam and an ethernet cord because like I was just doing streaming through Wi-Fi and it's been a lot more consistent now but I had this long cord like running out like this 30 foot cord running out of the room into the the wireless router now oh. how are you doing today spring how's uh How's, uh, Canada doing? Oh, Canada. That is thing alright. It's, uh, I don't know, it's, I don't know how hot it is. Siri, how hot is it today? Hot enough. It says hot enough. She said hot enough. It is, uh, spring, so this is going to be in Fahrenheit. I don't know what it is in Celsius. It's, it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's probably like 36? 35, 36 degrees, I think, Celsius. Oh, damn it. This attacks some flame. No, I don't like this one floor. So Spring, have you, um, have you played any more, uh, Far Cry? Wait, Far, no. Far Cry is the one you're playing, right? What was the game you're playing? You can't really put it like 
you know, like, you want to do it, but then, like, you know, you got other stuff to do. I know that for sure. Like, I just want to play video games all the time. I'm hoping you still, you're still able to lift the weights, though, to get in preparation for when the um, powerlifting competitions come up. It'd be like a mountain, you know, lifting the in the air. You're still doing keto though. So do you think you're gonna still continue doing the keto until until the competition comes back? Cause I better you need to like shed all the fat before you go to the competition, right? So um oh oh she's gonna die soon. Slurp kiss for you. Oh, wait, I didn't go to that room. Did I go to that room? I can't, I don't even remember. So I'm doing keto cut because there's no comp. Okay, so you wouldn't be doing it if there was was a competition. I put on weight just for the meat since it's not happening anymore. Oh, okay. No. Typing OP. What does typing OP mean? I know. I th I think um. That sounds good. So what, uh, cause like you, in a competition you have to be like in a weight category, right? Like, do you have a, what's, is it like a weight category you're in? Or what is your normal weight, I guess? Um, gotta drive. Okay. Okay, take care. Have a, drive safely, okay? Stay, um, don't, uh, you know, I'll be wishing you safe stuff. Hopefully no riot stuff, okay? See you later. Fuck it. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. That's... Okay. You must be just, like, all muscle right now. I think, um... I think I'm about... A hundred and... I want to say a hundred and... Seventy... Pounds. But I'm pretty sure that... Most of that is not... <laughs> most of that is not muscle. I think, uh... I've been trying to... Uh, I am... 5'11". 5'11". Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but I'm just curious. I know in Canada, you guys use a metric system, but, like, do you guys usually understand the, um... 
Do you guys understand, like, the feats and interests because of the US a little bit? Why, how, how tall are you? Oh, okay. Wait, what did I- How tall did I say that I was? I'm- I- we're the same height. You're probably just much- you have- probably just have so much more muscle than I do. With like, you probably have a six pack. I don't know, I don't think that'll ever happen to me. I eat too much fat. <laughs> My, um... It's funny because my dad is, he's quite tall, so he's 6'10", six, six, pretty big, big frame, um, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a big guy, um, and he's also half Japanese, which is kind of funny, because I think when he was a teenager, can you imagine going to Japan and being 6'4", and like a giant guy, it's kind of, it's kind of, So he's 6'10", six, six, uh, I'm not 6'10", god my numbers, uh, he's 6'4", I don't know, um... <laughs> I was just thinking, <laughs> I have another dad out there, no I don't have another dad, we look very similar to one another. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny, I think my mom's, the genes on my mom's side might have been more powerful, but uh, like... But you should see some of my cousins, like... My dad's sister, like, I have two cousins. I mean, like, all of my cousins, most of them are, like, giant. Like, they're, like, at least six, you know, six feet, you know, maybe six two. And then, um, one of my cousins, like, he's six four, very handsome, like, almost like my dad's shape. And his father is actually short. Um, but I think... Like, I have two cousins, their father is like Hawaiian, and you know, my mom is Hawaiian, so I was just thinking maybe the Hawaiian genes kind of like took over. Because all the men on my, uh, mom's side are, what is it called? Are about my height, I guess you could say. I know, I kind of, like, everybody predicted when I was young. Like, oh, he's gonna be like super tall, and it never really happened. Um, by the way, I don't look like I even look. Probably looks like you. Well, I don't know, Spring. Maybe you're just not wearing tight enough clothes. Um, I... May, maybe. You just gotta wear those, like, you know, those muscle, muscle shirts with the... You know, where you can see the big arms and, and stuff. What is your, what is your, um, Instagram? I'll, I'll add you. I don't usually use Instagram, it's kind of like an old, oldie, but maybe I will. Okay, I'll check it out after this. Or actually, I'm just, sorry, if you can pause, I'm just gonna add you on the Instagram. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, hold on, let's see. Get to enjoy this kind of like panic. I like this LGBTQ plus friendly stream. How the hell do I find the Instagram? Oh goodness, okay. Oh, I click on it. Man, I feel like I'll follow you. Oh, cute doggy! Holy shit!
I'm looking at this picture where you're lifting, lifting up the um, dumbbell with all that weight on it, and I can see like the bar bending. Wow, the sumo deadlift. You know, I assure you, uh, you look much more, you look much more muscly than me. Much more muscle. I'm pretty sure there'll be a difference. I think I look a little bit skinny. But you look, like, fit. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. I'm actually a little jealous. Flee, your majesty, we shall dispatch this fiend. Be careful. Barbell, not a dumb, sorry. I've had, like, almost two years of personal training, and I just, I... Uh. So, when you first started, like... Oh, I like the doggy. He's so cute. Shake the doggy. There's no use in fighting. None of you will leave this place alive. I'm very rough with my pets. Like, I like to just, like, shake, shake my pets and, like, you know, like, beat them, but, like, out of love. Like, it's not, like, hurt them, but it's just, like, you know, give them, like, little kitty massages. Search your form transformed in Yakura. Sausage. Is he a sausage doggy? Man, I need that. Aww, this cute little sausage doggy. My uh mom just got a She's got a new dog. It was a... Uh... Oh, I forgot what it was called. A pit bull. Oh, I forgot what it was called. It's not a pug. It's kind of like the other, other breed. Sounds good. Okay, it was thanks for stopping by. Take care. And pet and, you know, massage your, massage your dog for me. Love him. Return to the castle. I think 
thank you, Mako and Danny, for all your aid. I as well. Please accompany us to the castle. You will be most welcome guests. The Chancellor! The true Chancellor. Ooh, my thanks. That must have stuck me in there like a sack of coin. True Chancellor! Oh, your majesty, I'm undamaged as you can see. Mid ether. 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 Yes, let's be on our way. You cannot know how I worried, Lenny. Chancellor Yakura, that vile beast impersonating me and kidnapping the queen? We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never threaten the royal family's safety again. I am disgraced. I failed to protect my queen. Rico! forever in your debt. Who knows what would have happened to me had you come even a little later than you did. By the way, what became of the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh yeah, I forgot all about Princess Nadia. Wow. Mako, where did the princess disappear? Maybe she's there now. Let us check. Yeah, we deepest gratitude, Lord Mako. Ooh, Lord Mako. But I wonder, who then was the girl we found in the canyon? Question mark. Yakra Vile Beast? Okay. Okay. Princess Nadia! Mako! She doesn't even like say hello to Luca. Terrible! It was awful. I was so afraid. I couldn't see or feel anything, but I knew I was someplace cold. I wonder if that's what it's like to die. Maybe. Or purgatory! Purgatory could be it too. Your Highness, I... You came to help me too! Wait, your highness? Uh-oh. I guess you guys figured me out, huh? Quan, sorry, Mako. I didn't mean to trick you. My name is really Nadia. My father's King Guardia, 33. I just wanted to go to the fair and have fun like everyone else, but if you'd known who I really was, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, would you? Would you, Mako? Hell yeah, I would. You a princess, you get money. I mean, you know, she's probably also beautiful too, you know, but, you know, royalty's royalty, right? Oh, Mako, that's why I like you. Yes. You can marry me and turn me into a knight. The real queen's safe, right? Let's go home, Mako.
He must be the queen with me. We... My, we could be twins. You get along well with the king now, you hear? Or I'll get angry. How dare you tell a queen that? What's up with you, girl? That's like your great 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 grandma. Uh, never mind. I just, uh, wish you all the best. That's a good color. Oh, good yourself. Even look na again now, you're truly the ghostly, ghostly image of Lenny. Your manner, on the other hand. Well, never mind us. Never us mind that. You've done me a great service. If there's... If there is aught I might do for you, simply speak it and it will be done. Wow, a flavor from the king. His Majesty should be able to rest so more easily now. Queen Lee's persistence brightens these halls far more than any torch could hope to do. It was my pres- What is that word? Presis- Presences? God, I don't even know what this word is. I'm learning like new freaking vocabulary words right now. Okay, give me a second. I want to know how to pronounce this word. P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Persis- Presence. Oh! Oh my god. I'm having issues today. It's my presence here that endangered the queen. I can remain at this castle no more. Oh my god, frog, stop being such a drama queen. Eek! Indeed, your, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Mako, you're, you're the makings of a great swordsman. Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. Yeah, they're not. He's not really a frog, he's a human. Who turned into a frog and... He kind of speaks differently than anybody. If you think about it. Oh great, I have all their... Let's get some rest, shall we? I would like to rest. Okay, let's see. I guess we go back to the place we were before. plus two. Yeah. You know what? Actually, why don't we give her... If there's anybody in here, I just want you to listen to this song because it's kind of like, like a really good, great 
song, I think. chat if you're there hopefully how are you folks doing today hopefully maybe you're some fans of fans of some chrono trigger just listen to the music songwriter apparently for Chrono Trigger um, he he was really good but I think he got really stressed out about everything and um, he actually quit halfway through and then Nobu Uematsu um, you know the songwriter for the Final Fantasies he kind of came and helped helped him finish it up um, but oh it's just so good Oh, especially the, especially the, um, the ending, oh, sometimes I don't want to watch the ending of this because I get emotional because of the music, it's just so good. I'm gonna kill you guys, sorry. So how do we get home? Well, your highness, we... Please call me Quan. Which, by the way, Quan is my husband's name, so Quan is my, you know, a girl with this. Uh, well then, Quan. Observe! Shh. Whoa! Danny, you're amazing! <laughs> Sorry, I should be more humble in front of... Enough already, I'm a princess, but what's that mean? I can't do anything special. But you're incredible. I trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. I guess that's a heart. Would you rather be a... 
princess or would you rather be somebody who is a genius? It's a good question. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals to the same location within a different time. But gates are unstable, that's why they appear and disappear all the time. So, I use the principle behind my telepod device to create this gate key. It's what's locking the gate in place. Huh! But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod has had something to do with it within, or something else made it. Ah, that's where the mystery comes into place. You know, I kind of always wonder with this, like... Um, you know, this is sort of the gaps, like... I know Luca is, like, really smart, but how did she, like, develop the gate key like this? Because, you know, the technology is good, but it's not like, you know, the technology in the 23rd century. Or 2300 AD. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we go head back to our own time for now? Alright, coming, Mako? Mako, Danny, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Quan. What are you talking about? The most fun I had in months, and I made new friends too. Mako, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping into why that gate appeared. How would she find out why the gate appeared? Hmm. <clears throat> See you again soon, Danny. Well, Mako, are you ready to escort me home? Escort. She's an escort. Alright, folks. So I'm going to save it here because the next part is quite epic. So we will continue this another day. And it called a... The homecoming. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed this. Please take care and uh, stay safe no matter where you are. And uh, here's from Mako. Take care. Enjoy life. And see you folks later. Alright. Bye.